Today we're going to go through how to clean out dust from a laptop. So let's proceed. Now there is something called static electricity and it's quite bad for your uh, system. It can kill your motherboard. So make sure you're not charged. Go and uh, touch an element or something. Don't wear shoes or you can even buy some kind of special um, uh, electric wristband that you can connect yourself up to uh, something so you'll not uh, be static. Also, try to not wear any plastic clothes and don't do this on a plastic surface or a uh, plastic fabric. Anyways, I'm not very charged, I have no shoes and I touch the ground and everything, I don't think I'm very charged. So, we will now proceed and remove all the screws from this laptop. Now, there is a quite a lot of them, but just remove them all and don't forget any. There are usually some hidden screws, like under this panel for example. And under this little panel here. Here we have also small screws that we'll need to remove. It's very important you make sure that all the screws are actually removed. If not, you'll destroy the laptop if you try to force it open when you have screws left. So check under every panel and make sure there is no screws left. Now opening your laptop may be a little bit dangerous and you shouldn't try it if you're not comfortable with uh, technology. And be careful, don't spill anything on it and well, basically take static electricity quite seriously. Now when you've removed all the screws, you can carefully kind of lift the backside of the computer. Just carefully lift it up and try to get in between your fingernails so that you can remove this one. When you're trying to lift this, you might notice we have some cables attaching it that's keeping it uh, connected. Well, you'll need to disconnect this one in order to remove the back plate completely. So remove it very carefully, like that. And do not, do not uh, pull the cable, pull this little plug here, of course. Now, this plug is for the speakers on this laptop, which is down there and there. Now we can put that away. So here we have the open laptop. And uh, while this computer is not very dusty right now, because I have cleaned it <laughs> once before, um, it's a little bit dusty and I'm going to show you how to clean it. Now, the parts you'll need to be careful about is this, which is the motherboard. Um, do not touch this. And definitely, do not use a vacuum cleaner on any of the areas of this uh, motherboard. You shouldn't touch it. The only way you can clean this is by using, preferably, canned air. Canned air or if you have a compressor, so you can kind of have high pressure air and blow on it. That's the best way to clean this. Um, if you don't have canned air or uh, can't get it or won't get it, what you can do is blow away the dust using your mouth, but you'll have to be very, very careful about not accidentally putting any spit onto this uh, uh, board here. Make your mouth very dry and blow in a way so that no, no particles of spit comes out, because if you accidentally spit on your motherboard, you might destroy it. Okay, I made my mouth dry and now I'm going to... And that's all we're going to do with the motherboard. Now, almost all of the dust is fortunately kept here. This is the air intake and air exit. So here is almost where all the dust is located. For this as well, it's preferable if you use canned air. I'm going to go and use a vacuum cleaner. Now, a vacuum cleaner is not recommended by almost anyone, uh, and people say it's super dangerous. And I'm going to tell you, it depends on what you do with it. Do not vacuum clean the motherboard, whatever you do. We should only vacuum, vacuum clean this part. And you'll need to be quite careful in anyways when you do this. And uh, why we use a vacuum cleaner is that while this particular computer is quite clean now, it's just some dust in here, um, these tend to get very messy. You might find a lot of dust in your uh, cooler. 
So of course we need to be a little bit careful uh, with this and we're not going to touch it very much. We're going to take our vacuum cleaner like this and we're going to keep our fingers so that we don't actually touch this area with the vacuum cleaner. We're going to have our fingers as a kind of blockade. When we are vacuum cleaning this fan here, we are going to hold it down and vacuum cleaning this part. We're going to move it a few degrees like this so that we do not uh, tear or uh, stress any of the bearings. So we're going to kind of hold on to this while we vacuum clean it. Now I'm going to take my vacuum cleaner and put it on low power and start cleaning. And there we go. Now all the dust from this one should be gone and the cooling efficiency should be much better. Now we only need to put the laptop together again. So just carefully put all the screws back together and remember to connect any cables you might have disconnected when you removed the back case of the computer. And here we are. Enjoy your dust free laptop and well your laptop should now be much cooler when it operates and generally work a little better. Well, thanks a lot for watching! I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. And if it was, please leave a like and do comment if anything below the comments. Uh, if you have any questions or new videos you want to see. In any case, do stay tuned, that means subscribe, and I'll see you in future videos. This is your host, Jim Odesim, signing out.